Welcome to Kippy C Math! Today, we're going to discover the secret place values inside a number. And we're going to do it with Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Have you seen that movie? It is so cool. And the reason we're thinking about it today is because every superhero has a secret identity. For example, we could describe this model with just hundreds. We could say three hundreds. But it has a secret identity. In fact, it has lots of secret identities, lots of other ways to describe it. In a minute, we're going to ask our special guest to help us describe it as just tens. But first, here's what we have to remember. A few days ago, Miss Simmons showed us how we can take 10 of each place value to build the next place value. Well, we can put that same thing in reverse. You see, here I have one 10, and I break it up. And now I have 10 ones. But here's the really cool part. If I put this in a place value chart, one 10 goes here, I fill in the rest with zeros. If I were to redraw this place value chart with just ones, which is kind of a funny looking place value chart, there would be 10. Somehow this zero here is a placeholder, but it also tells me how many all together in this place. It's a little bit easier to see with the next one. Let's do 100. Explosion time. I have 10 tens now. When I draw that in my place value chart, one in the hundreds place with zeros. Now I'm gonna redraw the place value chart just with tens in it and bring those same numbers down. It tells me that there are 10 tens. Again, my zero went from being a placeholder to telling me here how many there were in that place, but along with the other digits as well, right? It seems kind of magical, but it's just one of the cool ways that our number system works. Thousand is ten hundreds. You know what I'm going to do. Put it on a place value chart and see one in the thousands place, or just draw it at hundreds and I see ten hundreds. Guess what? I could actually keep going. If I wanted to break these hundreds up into tens rods, I could draw my place value chart again, and this time have a hundred tens. Zero is such a special number that when I was a kid, there was actually a song called Zero is My Hero. He's not as cool a hero as Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, though. Place one zero after any number, and you multiply that number by ten. See how easy that is. Place two zeros after any number, and you multiply that number by one hundred. See how simple that is. Place three zeros after any number, and you multiply that number by one thousand, etc., etc. Ad infinitum, ad astra, forever and ever. With zero, my hero, how wonderful you are. documentation that we have of the number zero is from the Mesopotamians about 2,300 years ago. They lived close to what is now Iraq. And separately, about a thousand years after that, the Mayans invented zero. The Mayans are one of the many tribes that were native to our continent. We sometimes use the word indigenous, which means they were the original people who lived on our continent. And they're going to come up again because they made so many important mathematical discoveries. Now we can go back to this problem. Imagine this hundreds block exploding and this hundreds block exploding and this hundreds block exploding. How many tens would we have? Let's figure out what to do from our special guest. Hi! Hi! I'm so excited to be here. I'm Miss Darby. I'm the principal of Heights. So excited to do some place value fun today. Yes! So we were just talking about how there are 10 tens in a place value to make the next biggest place value. But then we got this question, 300 equals blank tens. And we were like, what do we do? So we're so right. glad you're here. Okay. So first thing I would do, I would take 300. And I would put 300 in my place value chart. Okay. Great. So I'm putting three in the hundreds place. Got it. Perfect. And so make sure 300 is there. Now, I already see, when I look at it, I see, wow, the number 30. I see three and zero, right? I see 30. 
that makes me think to myself, well, there's 10 tens in 100, in the number 100. Okay, let me write that down. 100 equals 10 tens. Got it. And when I think about 200, mm-hmm. there's 10 tens in 200 as well. Another so two, another, another ten set tens. of 10. Okay. So that's like 20 tens. That's 20 tens. And so 300 is next. And I see, oh, well, there's, yeah, there's 10 tens and, and 300 as well. So there's 10, 10, 10, all the way up to 300. So there's 30 tens in 300. Excellent. We're going to do one more example together. I will help. Here's the place value chart. And I'm going to put a seven in the thousands place. Go ahead and look to the hundreds place. Imagine a chart with hundreds only. Now fill in the blank. Great. 7,000 equals 70 hundreds. We can see it here. And we can imagine. 1,000 equals 10 hundreds, 2,000 equals 20 hundreds, 3,000 equals 30 hundreds, and on and on and on. Just don't get tricked. If someone comes up to you and asks, how many hundreds are in 7,000? You're going to be like, not zero. Let me go get my place value chart. People want to think it's a zero because they just look here. But we know that the thousands have hundreds inside too. We have to look at this whole amount. Sometimes we have to go the other direction and put that mask back on. Here's an example of someone using another special number name. Over 1,900 Hondas available. Have you ever heard that before? Have you ever heard somebody say something like 1,900s? I have a lot. So now we need to write 1,900s in standard form. Let's do the place value chart just like we always do. I'm going to put 19 in my place value chart and I fill the rest in with zeros. I can see that right here I'm just going to add and make that 1,900. Or if my place value chart had been drawn completely from the start, when I go to put the 19 in the 100 spot, I'm gonna be like, oh, I know this 10 hundreds makes 1,000. So it's really 1,900. It takes 10 of each place on the right to build each place to the left. Yay for your super brain! This is big league stuff. I know adults who don't know how to do this. So now it's time for you to practice with your teacher. Let's go!